Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Alex Smythe. In 2017, the Transcanada Trail, or TCT, completed its 25-year journey of connecting the trail from coast to coast to coast. Now, consisting of more than 27,000 kilometers of multi-use trails, including this waterline stretch through the marsh of Toronto's Rouge Park, the TCT is now on to their next mission. And as President and CEO Eleanor McMahon points out, it's a lofty goal. It's our privilege now as stewards of the Trans-Canada Trail to now sit back and think about how can we take the asset we have and make it more accessible? How can we make it better for all Canadians? The TCT recognized from onset that they couldn't truly improve accessibility until they better understood the impediments users are facing. So they sought out some help from the well-established accessibility app, Access Now. It's really important for us at the trail to reach out to people who have the knowledge, the skills and the ability and the lived experience to bring that perspective to bear. Because I may look at a trail, even trying to be sensitive as I do try to be, I may look at a section of trail and think that seems to me to fit the bill. But what Access Now does, of course, is really point out for us some of the inconsistencies, the things that need to change, the things that could be better, the things that we should enhance in order to improve that experience of our end users. And that's the, really the journey we are on right now. And being on that journey with an organization with the experience and credibility of Access Now ensured the TCT would get the community input they were looking for to improve accessibility. We're bringing people together and we're inviting everyone to get involved. So if that sounds like something you want to do, you'll probably be hearing from us anyway. Started in 2015, Access Now is a mobile app with the mission to share accessibility information by aggregating user input. And while they have lots of experience mapping accessibility, founder and CEO Mayan Zib admits this was new territory for them too. So, you know, when we started, this actually wasn't a project that we knew how to do right away. I'd had some uh, cool pilot projects with Google in the past where we looked at trails in Toronto using 360 camera footage, uh, where we mounted like cameras to my wheelchair or something like that. But we'd never taken that to the next step, which was to integrate it directly into the Access Now platform. The magic about Access Now as an app is that we're encouraging people everywhere to contribute to what we're actually sharing. So it's a very grassroots community led initiative and I think that's kind of one of the coolest things about this project is instead of saying, you know, here are a group of experts who know everything about accessibility, accessibility means different things to different people. So the idea is really to start that conversation and encourage everyone who's interested in contributing to make it more uh, well-rounded and more um, three-dimensional for people who are looking for different types of access. To get the ball rolling on generating user feedback, Access Now and TCT partnered with the Canadian Paralympic Committee and para-athletes from around the country. Basically the way that the project rolled out, literally rolled out, uh, was that we had uh, Canadian Paralympians and para-athletes team up with uh, local trail guides in their own communities to assess specific trails that we'd identified with Trans-Canada Trail. Each athlete was paired with a kind of technology toolkit. They had a 360 camera that was mounted to their mobility device, uh, if they had one. And they also had an app that helped them log any notes or information that was fed directly into the Access Now database. So because we kind of did this in a bit of a customized way, they had a lot more flexibility to share stuff that we don't yet have publicly available to people to use on the Access Now app directly right now. So things like benches and water fountains and picnic tables and you know things that are kind of more associated with trails and outdoor spaces. So for us, this was really like a trial test beta version of something that we're rolling out now officially to everyone. And so the, the, the mappers who were involved in the project were kind of our guinea pigs in some ways and also provided us like that really 
trustworthy lived experience of like, this is what I experienced on the trail. One of those guinea pigs is wheelchair racer Jessica Froughton. Jessica was one of 12 para-athletes to map sections of the trail across Canada. As someone who lives with a disability and likes to go explore, sometimes you get out there and you, you think you're going to be okay and then you almost fall off a cliff. So this is really going to take a lot of the guesswork out of it for people and everybody's abilities, they range and something that's accessible for me may not be accessible for someone else. So with the camera views of all the trails and all the pinpointing of the mapping, it's going to make it's going to make it a breeze for anybody that wants to go have an adventure. And now thanks to Jessica and the other athletes, the TCT can now work with their partners to try and address these barriers and make the great trail more accessible for all. If you want to plan your next adventure, be sure to download the Access Now app in Google Play or the App Store to check out all the marked trails. Or you can head to thegreattrail.ca to learn more about TransCanada Trails initiatives.